with the Advanced Projects Laboratory is to bring hope and the future to patients and families over the course of a lifetime, to impact and empower them over the course of a lifetime, to imagine, to innovate, to inspire. This particular case of, of Roy is a very complicated and difficult case. He has a potentially lethal cancer, osteogenic sarcoma, and it was located in an area where we generally don't go very often. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Why? Why? Why me? Why my son? You know, why we have to go through this? In ese momento, lo quería que mi hijo, mi niño que esté, mi niño que esté bien, mi niño que esté bien es lo único que yo decía en ese momento. The worst diagnosis a parent can hear is the diagnosis of inoperable or untreatable. One of the things that really struck me about this is you have a child who walks in who you would never know had this problem. It's really sort of a, a hidden entity. A lot of the motivation behind the way in which we approach this to, to figure out a way that we could get to this but yet put things back together to, to allow for minimal disturbance in his appearance. Craniofacial surgeons, which are experts uh, at um, altering the facial skeleton, asked me if I could assist them in reaching the tumor which sits underneath the brain and under the eye in a difficult location to reach, but not impossible. We came into surgery with an extra degree of preparation that I really don't think is possible with a lot more of the traditional planning that had been utilized in decades past. In Roy's case, uh, this model was really very helpful in us for us to envision how to reach the tumor, which you can see here highlighted in pink. And although the tumor was ultimately removed mostly through the mouth, the technique the craniofacial surgeons used to avoid putting a disfiguring scar on the child's face was to make a skin incision behind the hairline so it was hidden and then I was able to open this portion of the skull and remove this portion of the cheek so that they could see the tumor directly from above. With these technologies now we're able to really show them and to pinpoint exactly what we're doing, what are the nearby structures that we are dealing with, communicating the level of risk and benefit in a way that we really simply could not do before. Wow. Unbelievable. You can see the blood vessels. I can vessels. see everything. You can see the blood vessels that right. Dr. Ragab and Dr. Steinberg had to avoid bringing blood to the brain. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Children understand the HoloLens technology intuitively. You put the HoloLens on their head, turn it on, and when they see the 3D model, they just reach out and grab it and start manipulating it as if they were really touching it. And, and it's enormously rewarding to us, the team, to the other caregivers at the institution, to be able to give children such a powerful tool for understanding that empowers them to participate and understand their own disease. We simply could not help our patients like Roy this way without the support of Jack and Barbara Nicholas, the Nicholas Children's Health System, the Bailey Foundation, and especially our collaborators in industry, Stratasys, who's been supportive for almost 10 years, Simpleware, Spherogen DICOM Director, and Microsoft. They've been essential to our success in helping our precious young patients. I said that Nikki's Children's Hospital saved my boy's life. They dedicated so much time to save Roy's life, how they dedicated to make us more comfortable every single day, every single week, and, and that process. And I can see it in my child and my boy right now. He's, he's, he's back. Eh, realmente, no hay palabras para decirle lo que han hecho con mi hijo. Es un equipo tan, pero tan unidos que yo le doy las gracias por curar a mi hijo. We're fortunate to work at, uh, at Nicholas Children's Hospital where we can put together teams of experts to deal with difficult problems that many think can't be treated. And the greatest gift we can give these families is to use our experience, our team, and our technology to give children and families hope.